Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amateur C-class MMA bout at 32 kilograms, contested over three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he represents SK Cobra, ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Stumps! And the opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he represents the Northwest Fight Academy, ladies and gentlemen, Danny Jamil! Our referee is Mr. Nico Joka. Our next bout of the evening, 32 kilogram C-class bout, Danny Jamil, Northwest Fight Academy, v. Jacob Stubbs from SK Cobras. Danny looking there to transition from the body lock to the double leg on the, on the fence. Yeah, it looked for a moment like the Stubbs was looking for almost like that tie yeah, clinch around tie the neck. Clinch, yeah, he's oh, looking for the arm looks, yeah. here though. Uh, Danny looking to get his elbow out. Um, yeah, he's got to be patient here, yeah, right? I think, work a, I think his elbow looks okay where yeah. it is. He's managed to keep it tight. You can hear his corner yeah. telling him to get his elbow out. Uh, I mean, relentless chasing it as Stubbs at the moment. Yeah, looking fit. He's got to keep a bit of pressure on it, on his head there with the right leg. Good work and from the Northwest Fight Academy. Yeah, man stacking there. the back in the guard. Looking to attack again. He's, yeah. He's got that top top hand oh. position posture. Oh. I think Danny lo looks like his elbows yeah, okay out there. again. Oh, and into the side control guard. now, but looking for um, the reverse triangle. Yeah. Like I said, these kids don't know what they shouldn't no, do. They shouldn't do. It's amazing. Side control now. Oh, neon belly. And it forces himself yeah, into the mouth. Like slides the mouth. that already, body. He's already on that wrist looking for the triangle himself. Oh. Yeah, I can't slam. Yeah. So that's. But again, doing everything right, right? Stubbs yeah, turning in. That's it. Looking to just put, put pressure on. Yeah, that kneeling on there. Oh. He's looking to lock it up a bit tighter there. It was the, uh, at the space a little bit. And now he's just, just on the foot. So again, oh, he's looking and to then, the, Oh, but transitions to the, to the arm, the arm uh, rolls through. Oh, and saves oh. it. Whoa. That was, uh, it was almost like that, Dan just like thought he had it. So he, he let it go. But Oh, fantastic. Both guys giving each other a high five. Awesome round, that. <laughs> Skills our, on show. our referee, Mr. Nico Joka, is certainly putting in the miles in that cage yeah. today. These kids are keeping him on his toes. It, it's it's a, a tough job, and he and he does it really well as well because you got to make sure that the safety of the kids absolutely comes first. But then also you don't you don't want to stop anything before yep. it happens. It's one of those jobs you've always got to aid on the side of caution, which he does. Uh, but it, it's so hard to do. And it's one of you those. You don't want to be the reason someone that's loses right. Either. And it's one of the and it's one of those thankless jobs as well because yeah. you can be damned if you do and damned if you don't. Uh, who'd want to be a referee? Yeah. I tell you, the, those are them that do it well. Right, the seconds are cleared, and again, these junior fights have just been frenetic, but in the best possible way. Like I said, like. I can't, the two minutes goes by and there's that many good things happened, I can't think to what, <laughs> to, what to say. And Jacob Stubbs in the blue corner. Danny Jamil fighting out of the red corner in the black with yellow trim. On the, chasing the body, drops down. Oh. He's looking for an arm and guillotine there, I think. Caught Danny sort of coming in there. Yeah. Uh, arm in chokes are allowed. Uh, I don't think he's got quite got the angle on it. You can see Danny just stacking to his right yep. side, just and looking to fight the hands. This is one of them. It's it. Well, this is the one where millimeters matter, right? Yeah, so if you that's do, it. If, if it depends on the arm position yep. of it, but he's doing well because he's he's stacking on that right side. And Jacob needed to yep. get his right elbow to his hip, which he is trying to do. Yep. That's why he's turning his head that way as well. Again, doing just about everything right. Can't can't see uh, where his where his left hand is. Yeah. 
from this position, but Nico's having, it, having a good look again, and we just spoke about the, the job yeah. he has to do and how switched on he has to be in these, in these situations. And again, as we've seen, these kids, these kids can throw up something so quickly, no. so suddenly. And it's almost like uh, he's been in this choke for a long time now, and it's like he doesn't know that his arms are going to get tired because yeah. he's so young. Yeah, and, it doesn't matter. Again, You're going to get... Oh, his arms just don't get tired. And yeah. he's, he's that he, well trained. You just shake him out <laughs> yeah, in between rounds and be fine. Round. And Lactic I, acid doesn't exist no. in eight-year-old, ten-year-olds, no. does it? Danny's <laughs> got the pass now, yeah, but he beautiful. builds back up. And then under for the double. Looking to spill. And now in the half guard. Oh, again, frenetic. Yeah, lo lovely round that again, and ha hard to score. I, and again, you got Stubbs now just locking Jamil in. 10 seconds to go, end of the round. What a fit. The juniors today, I got to give you, I got to give Steve, I got to give the UKFC. I, the, you guys, where do you find these kids? Uh, a lot of hard work. Uh, uh, but but we just managed to, to stay committed to the process and obviously fortunate to have a lot of great great gyms who well, support I, the shows and, and bring through this level of talent as well. It, it is fantastic to see. Uh, but, but and of course, how many of these how many of these young fighters at the you know in our junior card in you know nine or ten years time are we going to see winning the amateur titles here and then yeah, moving on to the that, at, just watching that journey? That's the goal. Yeah, uh, to to progress these guys through. But I was speaking earlier on, on the on the YouTube and just saying that some of these guys, you know, they won't be in this sport two three years time, yeah. uh, but they'll have learned yeah. and grown and been able to take lessons from this into life, which is also important. But if we can get some of these guys and uh, going through this to the to oh. the uh, to the amateur uh, adults card to the pro ranks to the high level, that'll be. Great yeah, one day one of these young fighters might be, you know, our, a UFC yeah. champion. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice double leg. And it's straight into side control. Obviously got in a striking exchange and Jacob was just chasing there and Danny hit a beautiful well-timed double leg. And Stubbs doing... Yeah, he's looking, look at looking this, doing it again, tri trying triangle to... Triangle again. That you're, there's no position that you can find that he's not no, going to try to chase something like with. I'm looking for Oh, two. good. Beautiful. Try, uh, again, he went for the knee on belly, but yeah. stops him off. But then Jamil straight in on the yeah, takedown again. Double leg again. On your back. Okay, on top. Don't grab the fence, okay? Don't grab the fence. Beautiful yeah. refereeing there again by. Just because on the takedown, I think he just managed to get his fingers in, in the cage, which stopped the. the the position he gets up here. Is Jacob looking to, to strike a bit more? I'm not a proponent of this, but surely if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's, some, it's just a natural. I, I think so. Yeah, well. you feel like you're, you're gonna your go. Way down, yep. You just you just grab it. Obviously, the more experience you do, get used to it. Jamil has d done really well this round because yeah, he's, he's been on top, and controlling just, just and forcing, needs. Forcing, forcing the grapple. Now he, again, he's got a few double legs. Now he's on the single legs with his head in good position. Nope. Goes underneath again, gets under the hips. And again, Stubbs doing everything in his power to, to make that takedown yeah, null and void. Yeah, he's looking, looking to build back up. Danny's looking to, he's looking to, he might even try and step over, just shelf the legs yep. now. Jacob's got to look to build up back to his feet or, or maybe attack that neck again, but because where Danny's body's positioned, it's going to be hard for him to do that. I, look, I love the fact that Stubbs look, does just look like he's waiting for a bus. Yeah. He's like, all right, it's not a good position. I'll, I'll just, I'll ride it out. Yeah. Fantastic. Steps over onto the mount, but captured awesome. in the half. Goal. What a round. What a fight. Well, I haven't got a clue. No, no. Again, both guys going to progress, develop from that. It was great to watch. Wiser heads than mine will come up with that decision, so let's go make it official.
Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for both these young athletes, please. After three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision for your winner. In the red corner, Danny Jamil. And ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause, please, for Jacob Stumpf.